You know, sports is a very uh, weird thing, especially NHL hockey or minor pro hockey. A lot of hockey players have gone on to, of all things, political careers. Uh, Red Kenna, Kelly, Howie Meeker, uh, assorted uh, skaters and players. But this guy stood out for a lot of reasons. Not only was a longtime pro, his son, who had his same name, obviously, Junior was a uh, was an okay NHL player for a number of years, and again, a lot of people only remembered him after his son came to NHL. Now, today we're going to be talking about uh, alumni of the Providence Reds, where he's probably the, the most well known, Mo Mantha Senior. Now, Maurice William Mo Mantha Senior. Uh, eventually became a federal politician in Canada after a number of prestigious years in minor pro. Now, born in North Bay, Ontario, he played minor league hockey for several teams in the AHL in the, and in the Quebec Hockey League and the Western Hockey League from 1954 to 1970. He subsequently returned to Sturgeon Falls, uh, Ontario, and operated his own business, Laurentid Golf Club, for a number of years before entering politics, serving as the Reeve of Springer Township. Now, he first came to major prominence with the Gate Galt Blackhawks of the OHA in the 1953 season. Now, a defenseman, 6 feet 185, he had 19 points in that campaign. 54, he found himself with the Quebec Citadels of the OHA and the Quebec Frontenacs of the QP JHL. That year, he had 25 points in 42 games, including six goals. Now, his first minor pro season was with the Cincinnati Mohawks of the IHL in 55, played uh, three seasons with them before uh, jumping to the Ottawa Junior Canadians in 57. Best season with Cincinnati was his second year where he had 41 points in 60 games. 58, 59, and 60. He was with the Montreal Royals of the QHL, later the EPHL, put up some dynamite uh, numbers. Last season with Montreal, he had 39 points, including 10 goals in just 57 games. Now, 61, he was with the Cleveland Barons of the AHL, back to the Quebec Aces in 62, then a jump to the WHL with the San Francisco Seals for two years in 63 and 64. The Seattle Totems, which we've talked about in our podcast uh, channel before. Then the Vancouver Canucks in 66. Then with the California Seals in 67. Now, he had two seasons with the Providence Reds, probably one of the, the most consistent seasons in his career. He had 35 points in 1968 with eight goals. In 69, he had 22 points in 74 games, including uh, four goals. But that playoff, one of the better playoff campaigns of his career, he had eight assists in nine games. He wrapped up his minor league uh, career by being a player head coach for the Columbus Checkers of the six of the uh, 1970 side, where he went 24, 36, and 12 in 72 games, didn't make the playoffs, and he had 45 points in 55 games. Now, eventually became the head coach of the North Bay Trappers in 72 with a 14, 31, and 5 record. Now, Mo Manta Sr., after such a such a successful hockey career, decided to go into politics, and here it gets kind of bizarre. He defeated my distant cousin Jean-Jacques Blais, a liberal incumbent in the pissing riding in 1984. That's when the PCs under Brian Mulroney swept to election victory over the former liberals that were under Pierre Elliott Trudeau, but then were under John Turner. Now, in the 88 election, Manta was defeated by liberal candidate Bob Wood. He ran again in 1993. Unfortunately, lost to Wood again in an almost complete decimation of the PC Party of Canada, where he only won uh, less than a handful of seats and basically destroyed the PCs on the federal level. So, he, he, uh, Jean-Jacques Blais was a big upset because Blais was a big uh, power, uh, power hitter in the Trudeau cabinet, an uh, influential, influential MP, because the Blais for years have been involved in power politics in Ontario and Quebec. Now, we talk about Matt's son, Mo 
Atlanta Jr. He uh, was a very sturdy player, played in the NHL from 1980 to 82, and subsequently became a coach uh, for several teams in the AHL. Now, his grandson, Ryan Mantha, was eventually drafted by the New York Rangers in the fourth round of the 2014 NHL entry draft and was assigned to the Bakers, Bakersfield Condors of the uh, AHL. Unfortunately, uh, Manta died, a senior, died on September 18th, 2015, after the age of 81, after a brief uh, illness. So a very interesting life in hockey, very interesting life in coaching, very interesting life in politics, to run for, uh, under, uh, for, uh, as part of three of the most infamous federal elections in Canadian history, where the Conservatives swept barely survived and in other words destroyed. He's part of uh, political history, uh, beating uh, Blaine again a big upset, and uh, playing with all those great teams. Just as a re uh, reminder again, ladies and gentlemen, Cincinnati Mohawks, Ottawa Junior Canadians, Montreal Royals, Cleveland Barons, Quebec Aces, San Francisco Seals, Seattle Totems, Vancouver Canucks, all of course the original WHL teams, California Seals, again original, Providence Reds, again the affiliate for uh, Boston and again the Columbus uh, Checkers. So quite a quite a life in hockey, quite a, a celebration of, uh, of of a hockey life. But the Manta family, I can tell you, were tough as nails. Uh, I never saw the senior Manta play, play. I saw the junior Manta, Manta play. Specifically, uh, if I'm not mistaken, his best years were with. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Winnipeg, and in Edmonton. And uh, what was kind of bizarre, ladies and gentlemen, he came very close to winning a Stanley Cup at Edmonton, but he didn't finish off the 88 season. He started the, the campaign with Pittsburgh, then showed up in Edmonton, then uh, ended up being in Minnesota at the tail end of the season. But again, that career pretty strong, and he was a uh, four-time World Championship and Olympic game player for the United States. So an extremely, extremely uh, talented player uh, in the major leagues. And again, from Lakewood, Ohio, when he was born, probably one of the most distinguished uh, uh, defenders. And almost the same size as his father, of all things. So pretty good. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Mo Mantha Sr. We thank you for listening. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And don't forget... To be a hockey player, you got to be more than just on the ice. you got to have the determination to succeed off the ice as well. Thanks for listening. Bye.